Hello again, this is Python and Excel part five. And today this is a short video. I'm just gonna show you how you can grab some Python from a gist and use VBA to insert it into your workbook. So here I've got a link. This is a gist that I made earlier. Let's open it. You can see that this gist has two files. One has Python, this has all the VBA code. I'll share that with you later. But when you're working with a gist, you can click this raw button and this will give you the raw code that's inside that file. Copy that URL, hit this button, paste the URL, hit OK, select a cell you want to put your Python in, hit OK, and you can see that it's inserted the Python code and the Python executed successfully. So I won't go into all of the detail, but let's look very briefly at how the code works. First of all, this button, you don't have to have a button. You can do it any way you want. You can use F8 if you want. You can execute it some other way, but I've used a button. It executes this subroutine, get Python from raw gist. I, for now, for this code, I've required that the gist is the raw gist. Um, you can do it other ways, more complicated. I wanted to keep it simple, but the raw gist always begins with this domain. Uh, and because it's Python, I always want it to end with .py just to make sure that we're not bringing any code that isn't Python and therefore doesn't work. Uh, we validate those two tests. Uh, then we display another input box to receive the Python cell that we want to put the code in. We validate that. This uses the isValidRange function, which is just saying, oh, let's try and see if it's a real range. And if it isn't, it will throw an error. Um, and if it is, it will return true. After we've made sure it's a real range and it's a single cell, because range.cells.count equals one, we use this get gist function. And the get gist function is using the HTML document and the XML HTTP6 libraries to issue a get request to the URL and return response text from that get as the return value of the function. So essentially, what that does is it's returning the body of that page of that file into this pyth variable. Now the important part about this entire thing and why, what I really wanna show you is how to insert automatically uh, a Python cell. And a Python cell is really just some Python script within this function py. That is just a spreadsheet function. And it's that function that converts a regular cell into a Python cell. The first argument is the Python script, and the second argument is an integer. It's either zero if you want it to display as an Excel value, or it's one if you want to display as a Python object. So in this case, I've made a chart, so I've used zero for Excel value. And then finally, we assign the script to the target address. And that's how it works. It's as simple as that. It's pretty simple, but could be pretty useful. I hope you explore it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and have a great day.